Welcome everyone to the Wings Cast, where we specialize in terrible gold. Brought to you so, by Red Bull. Well, I mean, we are like Red Bull. I mean, we give you wings as well. We do a lot of things. We give you wings and we give you terrible gold. In fact, we give you terrible golden wings. How about that? Peachy. That's right. So, with us in the Watchtower, omnipotently viewing over the entire globe of the world, we have the astute, the knowledgeable, the daring Twiggets. That's me. And then in here with us today is a man who needs no introduction, but we shall introduce him anyways, because this individual is legend, passed down from generation to generation. Just like the Highlander, there can only be one, folks, introducing Mick Beardy. Howdy ho. And then I, your astute host, the knight of a long lost era, Felipe. Is it just me or these introductions getting long? Yeah. They are. Oh, right. cool. Nick Beardy's was better than mine. I'm gonna. <laughs> I didn't get I'm, all I'm, that. I want I'm kind of better. I'm kind of better than you. I period. want that introduction. Too bad. I got it. Haha. <laughs> well, I thought your introduction was pretty good. I mean, yeah, pretty good. subpar. Oh, it's pretty well, subpar. I mean, when you compare it to mine, yeah, it was pretty. Yeah. Pretty uh, subpar. That's but true. Then again, when you compare him to me, he's subpar. Mm. I am clean shaven. That's true. You don't have the power of the beard. You know what helps with beards? What's, What's that? Surviving the holic. Woof. Almost <laughs> dropped the ball. Whoa. 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 <laughs> representation <laughs> of a doomsday. Yeah. Yeah. So, that, that, that's that's that? today's topic here. It's uh, Reel it back. In the Watchtower. We're going to be talking about uh, <laughs> surviving the doomsday, whether it be the zombie apocalypse, an alien apocalypse, or just your plain ordinary apocalypse surviving doomsday. We definitely will not be talking about what trick Oof, we almost, almost brought up. Oof, we, should, we should almost start this over. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, no, no. yeah, we always move out here. It, it's the wings cast where we where we get edgy. It's a little too edgy <laughs> right there, almost. Almost too edgy. Holograms are crazy. That's right. That's they are. This is going to end. <laughs> anyway, surviving the apocalypse. And Frank. All right. <clears throat> what? No. Wow, you just made it worse. I did. But if I'm going over the edge, I'm going down. Yeah, go down swinging, I guess. I, I like your style, Twiggets. You're, you're a renaissance man for sure. Mm-hmm. And that's why you don't get the good introduction. It isn't. I don't deserve it now. Yeah, yeah, you definitely don't. Okay. So, Doomsday. Yep. Mm-hmm. Doomsday, indeed. All right, okay. Who's got... I, I mean, I, I've sat down and thought about this for a while. Thought about, you know, how I'm going to survive if there's, a like, a zombie apocalypse or if, like, you know, a meteorite strays into our atmosphere too close and destroys a nearby country or destroys the place where I'm living at and um, possibly has radiated alien blob monsters that absorb people and turn you into giant mutants. You know, anything can happen. You got to be prepared. Obviously. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty prepared. Are you? Yep. How how are you prepared? Yeah. What do you mean? What have have you done to be prepared? Uh, That's kind of what we're talking about. I got in this watchtower in space. that's true. That's going to help a lot. It is. I, you know, actually, the low watchtower is the ultimate uh, safety net, really. That's true. We are kind of out here on our own. Yeah. But wait, no, that no, that's worse because we're on our own. Well, like, the real question is, what would you do on Earth for the Doomsday? Ah, okay. yeah. See, that's that's a good question. Yeah, that's actually yeah. Uh, that was going to be a short topic for yeah. a while there. Yeah, yeah. Because we pretty much just solved it. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. You just jump on the watchtower. We're fine. Us and our butler. Yeah, but uh, oh, Zanzibar. Yeah, but Zanzibar. Here's no, the thing. It's not Zanzibar. It's his last is name. It? It's Mr. Zanzibar. No. Are you sure? Yep. No. Maurice Zanzibar. Rodriguez Zanzibar. I thought his middle name was Fet. I thought Zanzibar was a city. It was. Oh. Okay. It was named after him. 
after he won the Great War. Well, his family. Of aristocrats who fought in the Great War. The Great War? The Great Underground War. Uh, the Underground yeah. Civil War of 1977. Yeah. I feel like we're getting off topic. It is. Well, well, well maybe. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Um, but anyways, uh, st- starting with you, Mr. Twiggets. Um, oh. yeah. what, what would you do if you were okay. on Earth and the, the apocalypse was approaching? What kind of apocalypse are we talking about? Uh, you know what? We're gonna. It would. It would make a difference. We're gonna. We're gonna roll the die on this one. We we'll use a four-sided die here. Uh, one. Nerd. Is, uh, one is going to represent. <laughs> uh, the normal, uh, doomsday. Your everyday doomsday. Yeah, your everyday doomsday, like uh, weather, what weather doomsday, like okay. uh, the day after tomorrow style. Natural disaster. Oh, okay. Natural, Natural disaster. disaster. Uh, yeah. two will represent alien invasion. Aliens. Uh, three will represent zombie apocalypse. Zombies. Warzy. And and four will represent uh, biblical, like uh, magic stuff happening. Magic? Yeah, like angels and demons and, you know. Oh, that okay. Kind of stuff. Okay. Oh. Well, I, don't, I don't think you should, just apocalypse for stuff. just for referential purposes, I don't think you should mix Bible and magic. Some yeah. People might get, up, might get upset. That's a... I just want to well, throw that out. You don't out think there. angels use magic? I mean, I don't know what angels use. I don't, I don't hang out with them. No, uh, I don't. That's that's true. Well, anyways, I got an, I'm just, gonna, I, just, I'm just saying another one. I'm gonna go make this into a six-sided dice because um, nerd. Wow. Yeah, because no one else, no one but nerds have six-sided it, dice. And Monopoly players, I guess. Um, and, and any gambler who's ever been alive. What if they only play cards? All right, well, well go craps players. How's that? Roll the die. Well, no, wait, hold on. There, there's nope. number five, which is the... Five and uh, six are, you know, random. Go, roll it. What? <laughs> All right, well, we'll, we'll just go back to the D4 then. Yeah, D4 sounded good to me. Uh, well, I just... Uh, okay, whoa. You got a number two. It's alien invasion. All nope. right. Aliens. Oh, man, that's the worst one. Yeah, it is. War of the World style coming at you. Oof. Except without the cheap cop-out. Yeah. All right. Man, this one kind of sucks. If if it helps, the machines that they come in on, they sound like the Reapers from Mass Effect. Okay. I didn't play Mass Effect. <laughs> yeah, basically that. that it's kind of like the Inception siren. It, it's oh. like it's like dubstep, but really loud. So it's like dubstep. dubstep. That's enough. Um. Hmm. Oh that was man. Quite enough. What? How would you? I guess you uh, get up a slave trade. Man, I'm just I'm just hitting gold tonight. But anyway, you <laughs> yeah, try to wow. uh, yeah, just wow. So wow. you kind of like you feed the aliens people so that you're kind of like on the good side <laughs> of them. <laughs> Unless they're just here for our resources, and then you're just kind of screwed. I guess uh, head to the mountains, unpopulated area. Maybe they'll look over you. Of course, the world's going to be trash. There's really no happy ending to that. Well, let's say they're not going to destroy the world. They're just going to destroy the people in it. Okay. All right. Then, yeah. Uh, You know, maybe somewhere in the Nevada desert. They probably wouldn't check there. Kind of like a a Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Just have a cellar full of guns. So you're going straight up doomsday preppers. Yeah. Getting an underground bunker full of crap. Underground bunker full of guns. Just guns. Just guns. No food, no water. Just guns and ammunition. I'll shoot my thirst away. (laughs) Oh, I guess you could say he'll be eating lead. Oh! No, you can't say that. That's stupid. No, yeah, that's that's pretty dumb. Gosh. It it was good, though. No, No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was not. So that would be me. Hold up. With guns. That that's how you'd survive. That's how I'm surviving. Okay. I'm a survivor. He's not gonna survive long. Well. First, I was afraid. I was petrified. Oh dear lord. Nope, I'm not gonna do anymore. It's cool. <laughs> thank, thank you. I appreciate that. And the rest of. You by my side. I thought you weren't gonna do anymore. I lied. You liar. What about you, McBeardy? How do you? Uh... Horrible. 
Oh, oh we're, gonna, we're gonna roll the dice. Oh, make... okay. Everyone. Oh, wait. Okay. Everyone gets, gets a bad. different one, huh? Awesome. Yeah. I'm rooting for zombies. Right, zombies. Uh, number two again. You got aliens. See? That's... Son of a whore. What? You, you heard me. I didn't stutter. Uh, Saucy wing cast. <laughs> it, it is, isn't it? Wow. This is, right there. This is getting racy. Uh, this is wings cast after dark. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I like the underground bunker idea. I do, but you're gonna need food and water in there. But me personally, uh, I want to get some. You can get some weaponry, depending on what kills the aliens. I don't know if you're M Night Shyamalan. It's water. God, I'm stupid. Worst don't. aliens ever. Whatever. Uh, still, it, it water works. Uh, if if you're like aliens, aliens, you know, you're gonna need a big ass gun. Mm-hmm. You know. Also, same for the predator, who is an alien. You're gonna need a big ass gun. So basically, you're going to need a big-ass gun. Or a giant log. Or a giant log. And poss- possibly Arnold Schwarzenegger. Mm-hmm. But uh, you. but I'm, I'm heading to the wilderness. Me and the Sasquatches, we're hanging. We're going to take this out. We're going to start an underground resistance. Huh. We're going to start picking the aliens off one at a time. Me, it- Sasquatch, and whoever else wants to join. You're, anybody's welcome. We don't care. It- we, are, we are non-denominational. It's like Return of the Jedi, except you replace the Ewoks with the Sasquatch. Yeah, because uh, Ewoks suck, and Sasquatches are awesome. Yeah, that is a pretty good analogy. Yeah, thank you. But yeah, that's what we're doing. And I mean, with Sasquatches, you're not even really going to need weapons. they got rocks and shit, but they're pretty. They're just ripping alien in half. That's true. You ever pissed a Sasquatch off? Don't do it. Yeah. I have not. I can't yeah. say that I have. You don't want to, trust me. I, I I've dueled one before. It's not it's not fun. How are you still alive? Well, I mean, it, it was a gentleman duel. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Then you've never you've never actually pissed a Sasquatch off either. No, no. We we, we had minor disagreements of the verbal variety, and we decided to settle it like gentlemen. I understand. Yeah. yeah. Sasquatches can be very gentlemanly. That's that's right. They can. Very civil creatures, noble beasts from a noble time. They are. They're kind of like Wookies almost. I yeah, I was going to say, it would be more like the Imperials on Kashyyyk. Yeah. Episode 3. Mm, that's true. That's true. They kind of, Sasquatches are very Wookiee-like, although not quite as technological. Oh, still, I guess there's more. Yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, yeah, they, they, got the, they got the strength, they got the human intelligence. Yeah, they just don't have, like, they're, well, you know, they, they can't work on spaceships. Is it the thumbs? I don't know why. Uh, probably because we don't actually have spaceships like they do in Star Wars. Oh, that's true. That would be that would be the one reason. Hmm. That well, I mean, have you seen their hands? They're huge. They yeah. can't hand, they can't handle those tiny little parts. It's not it's it's almost impossible. Nothing's that's impossible. <laughs> that's why I said almost. All right. Were you not listening? I was. Get your finger out of here. Nothing's almost impossible. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't argue with that one. Mm-hmm. I don't know what to say to it, really, because it was stupid. Stupid is a stupid does. You would know that more than most. <laughs> All right. Well, Felipe. Yep. Uh, uh, don't even roll the dice. You're going with aliens too. No, I want to roll. Oh, yeah. You're gonna get zombies, and I'm gonna be pissed. Well, we'll see. I, I got aliens again. It's a two. Wow. I told you not to roll it, didn't I? Oh, you are right. Saw it, I saw it coming. Yeah, well, this is about alien invasions now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that has become the theme, alien invasions. Hell yeah. All right, so if the aliens invade, I think the first thing I would do is establish where they're attacking. Obviously move away from... Big cities. Yeah, big cities. D- d- don't go near them. Uh, though I will eventually have to go into them to get resources. But what I'll do is I'll establish a small colony out in the wilderness underground, in like a mountain, like an abandoned mine. We'll like reinforce the mine so it doesn't cave in, and they'll make like a little town out of it, a little shanty town. And I, I just want to ask a question real quick because it really, really sounded like you were saying mind. Yeah. Oh, no, so- it's a mine. Mine. 
Okay. So what yeah. you want is just the community to yeah, get the... together and form up and just I, kill I have this. I have this odd take on everything. Hold on, real quick. Twiggets, you were going... You were going Terminator. Mm -hmm. I was going Star Wars. Was Phil just going Lord of the Rings on us? No. Yeah, well, he was going into underground mines. He's going mm -hmm. community. Community? He's going yeah. community. Okay. Community. I was just checking. Until the like community all... collapses on itself. It does not collapse on itself. Because I can't handle it. We will remain strong bonded together side by side as allies as we have aliens surrounding us a foe who is impenetrably strong but we are the small we're the underdog and we will win because we'll strike at them in guerrilla tactics we'll be like the bajorans versing uh the cardassians i don't understand this reference but anyway star trek i really don't understand that reference either whatever all i <laughs> hear is i want to be like rocky but i'm not and so we're gonna lose that's what That's I hear. What we'll play the Rocky theme before we strike the aliens, and we'll strike fear into their hearts. This is the dun 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 dun, dun and the aliens would be like, "Oh, they're back again!" It's, poss it's possible the Rocky theme could make their head explode. Yes, it is. Yes. Mars attacks. Yeah. Thank you. I was hoping the the audience could come to that on their own, but they I can't. appreciate you they're pointing Aussies. it right. They're a bunch of Australians. They're not going to understand. I don't get that movie. Why are you making fun of the Australians? I, because they didn't watch last episode, those bastards. Oh. Maybe we got invaded by Space Australia. Leave the Wing of Knights alone. All right? Wingies. Wing of Knights. Wingies. We'll let them vote on it, all right? Yeah. All That's going to happen. Vocal. Yeah. All Maybe six. the internet went out in Australia. It's possible. There's only one it's, line. That is, that is true. It's warm down there. Could it? Could have fried the lines. Wow. Could have been could have been attacked by a koala. What a koala! Yeah, they're very vicious. They sleep like twenty hours a day. How can they be vicious? And what do you think they're doing for those four hours? Eating. People. Wrecking shit. I doubt that. I apologize I more... for my language. Yeah. Hey, this is Wings Cast After Dark. All right, we we're just racing this up. Yeah. You already brought up slavery and that other thing that I'm not going to mention. Peter Francis. Peter Francis. <laughs> thought you were going to go Peter Frampton there for a second. Nah. But anyway, where were we at? Oh, yeah, aliens. Invasions. Invasions. A, a post-apocalypse. Oh, yeah, I think we, we said everything we had to say about that. Well, no, I, I think there's... Nope. A what? You're oh. done. Yeah. He's cut you off. What? He cut you off. Closing thought, Felipe. Go. Okay. Wow. Closing thoughts. Closing thoughts. Uh, be the underdog when the aliens arrive. Don't be the underdog. I'm interrupting his closing thoughts. No. Don't do it. No, no eventually you'll, you'll win. Can you interrupt people's closing thoughts? I didn't even know we could do that. We uh, we're can't, it but I'm breaking the rules because it's stupid. Oh, okay. Well, there you well, go, man. Basically, the community needs to get together when the aliens arrive, and then we'll become a strong force that can overcome our odds. And plus, we'll need Will Smith and Jeff Goldblum so we can hack their internet and uh, insert a virus into their computers. Enough said. Oh, Battlestar Galactica style. Uh, or that, too. That, uh, I it, thought that it, was Independence Day, but yeah, okay. Ugh. Oh, never mind. The joke was lost. That's cause, probably because it wasn't that funny. Yeah, it's an inside joke between me and some of the other people that aren't you or the wingies. Then why in the world did you bring it up now? Because I thought it was funny. Those fracking Cylons. And I like my own humor. No one else does. It's true. Have your closing thoughts. My closing thoughts is stay away from communities because they will lure you like a siren's call and then suck out your soul. And just throw away the dried up husk of a body that was left behind. Wow, that's deep. It is. Communities are terrible. Cool. I don't really well, know what uh, to say to that. Big Beardy, what's your uh, closing thoughts? My closing thoughts are this Ewoks suck, Sasquatches are awesome, mm. uh, and I'm scared less of the aliens and more of the zombies. Hmm. Good night. So, good night, everyone. Bye.